is in New York now, man. Yeah. It's not the same. But nonetheless, we're going to ask two veterans since the game came out, duking it out, Vivi and Dill. How do you think this is going to go? Um, Well, in general, I think uh, Vivi prefers like bigger stages against Rob especially cause, and, and PS2 too because the distance between the off stage and like to the stage is, is there's not as much room there yeah. so he has less like room to get like cheese by like side b or whatever yeah i, would, I, I agree with that because every time i see a rob and they, they'll just purposely leave town open and it'll make people think no nah, it's not it's, it's not a good rob no that's cap that's a very yeah good but then you, then you just get like farmed at like 30 <laughs> or something you can farm that like 25 if if the Rob want to be mean to you real quick. Yeah. So but not too surprised that we're starting on P2. Just a, a very heavy neutral stage to check to check what's gonna happen. I'm expecting Dill to like catch on to like the way how VB plays very defensive with a, a lot of shields, but at the same time VB got time to kill a neutral and yeah. Rob's really big, so Rob can get caught with or spirit jank. It can go either way. Yeah, right now, Vivi, I, I just noticed, like, he hasn't pushed, he doesn't push a lot of buttons. Like, and that's especially good against Rob, because he can definitely outbox you, outframed out of you. Yeah. He's uh, choosing when to throw his punches. And right now, he's kind of entering, I know we were talking about zoners before, but he's entering zoner mode. As soon as he gets high aura, he <laughs> just starts charging that ball. V Vivi trying to play the matchup, man. Like, you yeah. know, oh, I got my aura sphere, I got my jank. All right, now I can play the game. Yeah, and I think Dill's, like, starting to, like, like right there. They just spammed, like, three gyros Ooh. in a row, and oh that's smart. Wow, what a match. Oh, yeah, that is a crazy match. <laughs> but they're spamming gyro because if it clanks with aura sphere, no matter how, like, scary it is, yeah. that gyro is indestructible. I mean, it'll trade, but, like, it, it'll... It's very situational, it's it. dude, because, like, when Rob throws gyro on the ledge, good dash attack going... I think he went right under that gyro. Yeah, it's a monster dash attack. I think yo Lucario, I swear to God, Lucario got like one of the low keyest of like low profiles in the game with that dash attack. Right yeah. There. I feel like he can just dash attack Rob straight. Yeah, did he just go under Rob's right. nair or something? Like yeah. I, so that's, that's a move like I've never seen get it's, low profile. It's like a very underrated dash attack where it's like you don't see Lucario use it too much because it's laggy if you predict it. But at the same time, with the right knowledge, it's really good on going under and maneuvering around a lot of things in neutral. On yeah, they buffed it. It can kill like crazy percents now. Oh, it looks like Dill's building a little bit of momentum right now with this Rob. Oh, oh, no jump, no jump. Geez. Really good call out from yeah. Dill. Wait, and uh, Lucario was like low. What percent were they? They were Lucario like low. Lucario was like aura. at 62. Yeah, they, I, mean, they, they, I mean, they didn't have like that much percent. Like, like percent starting percent, like, Lucario was around yeah. 62%. Because Vivi knows if, if they take too long and go like like to the ledge and maybe stall a little, it's a free down air. But oh my oh god, my right god. now, <laughs> without a jump I feel like if again, Rob had rage, it would have been clips right there. Oh, yeah. But that's why I imagine town. Imagine taking Rob to town. Yeah, yeah you, you would have got cheese. <laughs> I, I'm expecting, like, uh, if VD loses, if, um, I feel like, yeah, actually, there was nothing that was That was a right really there. good read. That was a really good read. Predicted the drift away yeah. from the stage than back I end. like that Dill literally waited until all of VD's resources were gone. Like, the minute, the, the second that VD used his jump, that was it. Like, he, he jumped into the gyro, and Dill covered every single option right there. Yeah, and what's so annoying is that... You know how like when Rob's facing a direction, you'll go in that direction with side B. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you see Rob you like down beat to side B? No, like just Rob side B in general. Oh, you'll go in that direction. Yeah, yeah like yeah, Rob yeah. could like it confuses a lot of people that don't understand Rob. It's just whatever direction Rob is already looking, it's always gonna be the direction that you're gonna go. Oh. Even if Rob goes off stage and then like he'll press the angle and limp his body all the way at the other side, you're still going in the same direction. That's what makes that move so ridiculous is that uh, I can aim it anywhere I want, but you're still going in the same direction with the same exact knockback, too. Yeah, and then if you try to punish him off stage, like... Right. <laughs> Niki's starting off a lot stronger, though, getting a low percent combo. And I'm surprised they didn't do small battlefield. Unless, unless Dill banned it somehow, but... I think small battlefield's also worse just because smaller blast zones, you don't get to live as long. And yeah. it has more room off stage for Rob to do his, like, stupid stuff. What I know, because... The only reason why I, I was expecting small battlefield is to oh what oh, a gross <laughs> abusing Rob's hurt bombs yeah. getting and PS2 and PS2 how often do you see yeah. Rob get stage like <laughs> and actually die it's because of PS2 he got like bounced straight up I don't even know what percent Rob was that it's just he just got obliterated with yeah. that tech with the non tech right there oh and now Vivi got so much momentum off of that misinput in tech from Dill and Dill's gonna take a lot of extra credit right there oh I could be wrong. 
But that, no, actually, no, because Lucario still got jank going on for him, but Aura. Like, Lucario, I feel like Lucario is like, what's the word I'm looking for? Clutch. Like a little, like, Lucario's clutch, but a little bit of a masochist, too. Like, mm, I, I get beat up real quick. Yeah, I feel You like, won't realize it, but I'm actually winning when, you, when you're beating me up. I feel like mentally, ZB knows they're always in it. Oh, yeah, I was... <laughs> Is that a poke? I definitely do not think they dropped. I feel like it did poke, but he could just let go of shield. That too. was also super smart because uh, it would have caught jump out of shield. Oh, good did stuff. Did the body Like, what just went on? Nah, because Dale was falling down as in the middle of the upper. Oh, and then you just went yeah. through it? So like, in between the hits? Yeah, so because oh. Dale threw the hit first, but Rob was falling down, and VB was going up, it's kind of like the, in the intertwine and didn't get the whole hitbox coming into it. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, Lucario, I mean, it's obvious, but Lucario is like way harder to edge guard for Rob when they're at a high percent, because they can just go low, they can do like circles around there. Yeah. Getting called out that time, but in general, uh, I feel like I've seen more successful Dill edge guards when Lucario is at like mid percents, you know, when they can't like zoom across the stage with uh, a B. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely for sure. Um, You have a good point. Edge guarding Lucario is not as easy as a lot of people would think. Especially the more aura Lucario gets, it's also the further his recovery and the more type of angles that Lucario can really maneuver around too. Yeah. Ah, uh, the count is coming out now. BB, BB looking a little desperate right here. Oh, in the back here, clutching it out. Yeah, and, and they got that stock aura on deck, so... I, oh, wait, no, no. It's 2-1. Yeah, oh, it's 2-1. I don't know what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. The, the only downside that VB is going to lose is the aura. Yeah. But, you know... Lucario can still kill quite early. Lucario can probably kill around like 60% now instead of like 45. Oh, the tech chases with the down tilts. Yeah, all, all, all true, all true. <laughs> but there's a, there's that <laughs> high aura coming in. Like, can't do anything about it. I thought I thought Vivi was going to do some other crazy stuff just for a second. Yeah. But you, you got to take... It, situations like this, you, you want to take as many hits that you can and deliver the same thing. Instead of worrying about... A specific punish. Oh my god, but Vivi's mash yeah, is Vivi's still mash is going crazy. crazy. I think they might be expecting the down throw, but like still, that's like insane. A good down smash right there. Ooh. All right, I think I think Vivi lost all of their aura. Oh, what a snipe from Do. Yeah, at, one, at 177, that'll do it. The one thing I do notice right here is that Vivi's DI is being very consistent in this matchup. Well, actually, this whole day, actually. Really, really using the fact that Lucario can have aura, as we all know, but it's really making it work on the defensive gameplay rather than him approaching you too many times and I'm dying early to Rob. But you gotta, like, we, we was both talking about Rob, that Rob can cheese people at early percents, mm -hmm. but Vivi's doing a good job maneuvering around the very specific spots that Rob can hit you at. And it's yeah. making deal work in this in this entire set. I feel like they're trying to take center stage a lot more. Oh, it actually went through the giant yeah. a while. But uh, they're taking, trying to take center, center stage a lot more because uh, it's a lot harder for Rob to hit you off stage if you're just taking center stage. Like, you'll get hit, you could get juggled maybe, but you're not forcing as many positions off stage. Yeah. And even, and even when he's at the high percent to get knocked off stage, they got high aura. So, like, it, it doesn't matter that much. All right, we're going to do... That's kind of funny. Like, they, they're making the, the infinity sign around the center stage mm. <laughs> from both players. Oh, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, VV looking for a shot somewhere. Like, the minute the minute I saw VV, like, just be reversing too many times while Dill was, like, all the way at the top, he was, he was charging for that. Like, you know what? You reflect it. Good stuff, but I'm kind of too far. So, yeah, and really good movement from VV there too. He does like the, the oh, VV yeah. caught the dash animation. That's that's very. If you're a Dale fan, that's very unfortunate. But if you're on VV side, GG's in that game. Wait, yeah, that was all game. Wait, that was game two. That was game two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the, yeah I remember now. Yeah, the tech. The, remember we used to do best of threes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm probably slow right now. I just peeped Dill's like has egg. <laughs> That's yeah. like the little tag. Yeah, I don't know the context behind that. That just made me hungry. It's been around that. for a while. You're right. My, I might cop some after this whole day, this whole Zeno. Get something with eggs. All right. Looks like we're just gonna do the whole set on P2. Wow, what a string from Vivi, but only less than 30 percent. This is Sheik with, this is a Pokemon version of Sheik. Off of a rising aerial, I think 27 is fine. You know, that, that, that's <laughs> chill. 
you would think it, you would think like uh, all right that's a lot of damage with all of those hits eh, less than 30. We'll just keep it. We'll keep it plain and simple from there. Really good landing from there, right? I, I don't know if you noticed, but when VV lands with Aura Sphere, they press jump as soon as it hits. As soon as they hit the ground, so that they land with like no no shield, no nothing. Yeah. No, yeah, that situation that VV did Nair. Yeah. Because Nair is so it's so fast. It, like it, I think five it auto frames cancels. of landing lag. Right. It is, like it, it auto cancels when you land with it. That's crazy. <laughs> it doesn't need an auto cancel. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's why I was the bad dash attack where it did. The one time VB didn't use dash attack in a good way, actually dies for it. Yeah, I don't even know. That was bad DI, but I don't even know if good DI was saving you there. Nah, it just, yeah, it was pretty high up. Like, the up tilt setup. That, that's the one thing that makes differences, even if you do know how to DI it correctly, is just the up tilt pushes you at that exact. Oh my god, the oh my parries god. from VB. But e even if VB's getting all those parries off, Dill's like oppressing them, like not getting to off to charge yeah. their board. Yeah, Dill, Dill's not. He don't. Dill, Dill, she doesn't even care. Yeah. She's just, you know what? I'm gonna just. I got my. I got a game plan. I'm gonna keep it simple. You can parry all of these moves all you want. All right, that, there's the punish right there. I gotta get a little bit of damage here and there. I feel like in most sets we see VV, he's like a lot more fluid with his movement, but against Rob, like you gotta be more stiff. Like you can't you use so many big and fast hitboxes that you like can't contest to be like running around all the time. Now that I think about it, I think this goal, this reverts all the way back to what you were saying before the set started is that I feel like VV has to play this set fast. Because I feel like Dill's one of those people that if you played this set slow, like while taking your time, that's when Dill's kind of like extra threatening. He's like, you know what? I got enough information. I'm going to just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it out the way. Because right now, Dill is looking hella dominant right now. Actually very Hasn't even lost their first stock yet. Yeah. I mean, it's still Lucario, but I'm actually very surprised Ooh. VB didn't uh, mash out of that down throw before. Oh, my God, that thing is good, massive. Good, good awareness from yeah. VB, <laughs> knowing that Dill can reflect that any time right like, there. Why is that a reflector again? I never understood that purpose yeah. either. Nintendo just felt bad because if Rob didn't have a reflector, Rob would even be close to being top tier. Yeah, that's so true. Because now, like, you have to respect it low key. Like, I can, I can die from it. It can cheese people, and it reflects projectiles. Please help me. <laughs> And now VB looking like they, they oh, try look to at that. Look at that gyro just <laughs> taking that hit like a champ. Didn't even didn't even trade. That's another thing that does not make any sense. Yeah. Why is gyro so broad? The gyro is on steroids. Yeah. You can hit it and it will barely go away. Wow, what a nair right there. VB shaking it off. And right now, oh no, they will still got an extra stock. What was that down there? <laughs> they actually had momentum. What? That down there said, get off me. That was crazy. I've like never seen that before. If you ever notice, like whenever Rob down here, Rob is always flexing on you. Oh yeah, he kind of <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, I, that shield poke? Excuse me. All right, good string from VB. This is what he needs. Probably gonna get a little Aura Sphere snipe. Oh, that was that was the one opportunity. Yeah, that's have. a dangerous situation if you have to recover low or like back to ledge. But Rob just does not have to do that and doesn't have to worry about the Aura Sphere. I I don't know if you just peeped that just now. That was very smart from Dill. Because they'll quote on that VB is being more consistent on pairing it, even though he's not doing it right now. But the one time that Nair looked predictable, she threw the gyro down and then delayed the Nair slightly a bit just to throw VB off and start respecting those neutral a bit more. Yeah, that's smart because the main counterplay to that move, move being so big and so fast is right. that like you're supposed to parry it. But if you mix up those timings, it becomes so much harder to deal with. And mixing up the timing is very crucial in a high level play right here, especially in this bracket. Uh, looking like curtains right now. Vivi doesn't do something. No, nope. oh, good recovery. Ah. It was bad DI, but you, you're all the way at the bottom Massive. of the stage at that point. That's bigger than Rob Shield. All right, and Vivi has max rage right now. This is still anybody's game if Vivi can just recover. Nah, nah, and the dead. up throw yeah. is definitely going to give Dill that set right there. Vivi shaking his head right there. He, he's not satisfied, but it is what it is. And we're going to be moving on to that next part. Oh yeah, we got John Numbers about to come to the field. Numbies. Ooh. Yeah, that, that was really, it could have been anyone's game, but I feel like like VV's strategy should have been something like, I, I, I gotta end deal as fast as I can, because the longer the set goes, just the more of an advantage that deal would have had. All right. Um. Who is? Oh, 
Dill, Dill, and Num Dill is just gonna fight numbers. Like, oh, no, 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 no. They just dip. They just dip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lucario into Wii Fit. I mean, like. Yo, this song slaps whatever song this is. I think it's from right Sonic. Here. What is was that down air, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah was that's, that down the, that's that, the that down air no you was mentioning. That made no sense. <laughs> that was like a normal down air. About to do the combo. And. Oh, okay. That VV just did it. Oh, my wow, God. He, Bill what? still <laughs> jumped and did it at the same time. Yeah. They were like, nah, I know. <laughs> like, actually, Jakey, what happens? You, you gotta love it, folks. You gotta love the, the Rob Master down, down there. Yeah, I like, I, like, I, I think I kind of get the intention that VV try to do, try to. I thought VV probably thought Dill was just gonna go right onto the stage and side B of what, like, what happened in game one. So VV just, oh, I'm just gonna go around that entire thing. Yeah, but then, that, and then they'll just say, I'm gonna just end it with an off throw. Yeah, and then the last dog, like, they'll just read it and just stay on stage. I was so threatening. Out of all the out of all the ways to go with your defensive DIs and having max rage and being consistent, man. Alright, you wanna have all this rage? Die. You ain't living after that. <laughs>